what's next? Intermittent fasting. And you're vomiting, you don't, you're just drinking water. You're in your 10th or 12th hour of your 16 hour fast window. And you vomit. Vomit all the water in your stomach or whatever vitamins you might have taken or whatever happens to be in your, in your, in your stomach. For me, it was mostly water. The reason is because you're knocked out all your electrolytes. You're drinking too much water with no, and you're urinating all the minerals out. So, the trick, the solution to the problem, the easiest solution, baking soda and sea salt. You take a one liter bottle or you don't have a one liter, have half a liter, or if you don't, you don't have, you can go metric. I mean, um, imperial units. Imperial units would be 32 ounces and 16 ounces. I see. Basically, you take the bottle, water bottle. You take a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and then you take a. You have a baking soda is cheap. You just press it your finger into it, so you have it's just a dusting of it on your finger, and you put pop it in the water. You mix it up. Just that will prevent you from vomiting anymore. You do that every day to, you know, one bottle of the, because I drink, I try to drink two or three liters before I can eat, just so I can, you know, hydrate and clear out all my toxins in my system. You just do it one or two bottles with a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of salt, a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of baking soda, Vomiting situation is over. Now with my intermittent fasting, my mornings are a cup of green tea and then re-steeping that same tea a couple times because green tea is beneficial. And it's best not to use hot, hot water, but do slightly, you know, I fill up a bottle of boiling water. I, so I fill up a cup with boiling water and then I let it sit while I fill up my two, I think there's 16 ounce bottles of water. Uh, they're 500 mils. I don't. I'm not good at converting back and forth. Imperial. I'm much better at metric. I am an American who thinks in metric. It's just easy for me. But I fill up three bottles with each of a half a liter each, while my cup of hot water is sitting there. I always put a tiny bit of cool water. Drop in my green tea bag. Drink that. You know, fill another cup with water later, fill that up, you know, in between the two green teas, I drink about half a liter of water, 500 bills. And that usually has the salt, a little bit, teen, teen, that by the salt. I mean, it's, it's so small that you might be able to taste a little bit. If that's too much, if you put it in your cup of uh, sweetened coffee or your cup of tea, you can't taste it, if you put it in green tea. You can't taste it at all, but some people don't like to taste the green tea. I prefer two green teas, two mint teas, and two chai teas a day. Um, first is full, regular seep, and then second one is the re-seep of the green tea. Third one is the green tea with the first seep of the mint tea. The fourth one is a re of the green tea, which is the fourth green tea, and the second mint tea. And then continuing it all with one chai tea with the re of the other mint and green teas. And then the fourth, I the sixth, the fifth, sixth would be re of the chai with the, the sixth uh, re of the green tea and the fourth seep of the receipt of the mint tea. It's just my process. By that point, it's usually by noon time that I can have my lunch. It's usually between the two. I've been drinking the, between all those teas, I've been drinking uh, bottles of, I mean, uh, half liters of water each time with a teeny tiny bit of salt. Vomiting has not been a problem since. This might help somebody. I'm hoping it'll help somebody that the easiest way if you're in the water fast part of your 
intermittent fasting, 16 hour fast, and you vomit, you know, they say, oh, it means your, 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 your sugar levels are too low, blah, blah, blah. It just might be your, your electrolyte system is just too low. You don't have to have sugar, but you need a little teeny bit of salt. And sea salt, I use Celtic sea salt, which has magnesium in it with sodium and other minerals. It's, it's a spreading of minerals, which for me has been a lot better than the, you're supposed to use non-iodized salt. Well, I think Catholic sea salt is, is naturally iodized, which you really want natural everything, if you can possibly. I mean, if I could drink sea salt, just bring that with me, that would be great, and just boil it and then bring that, have, you know, mix that with a few liters of water. That might be fun, but I digress. If you're intermittent fasting, you vomit, try teeny, I mean, it's a teeny tiny bit of salt. I'm, I'm basically telling you that it's such a small amount that it's imperceptible if, with your taste. Of course, if you're drinking water, you can taste everything. But if you're between teas, you kind of, your taste buds are, have been influenced by the teas, especially if you do chai tea which is really strong. The chai has mint, I don't know, has um, cinnamon in it, which cinnamon makes your body think it has sugar in it, and it makes things taste sweeter when it's just cinnamon. So, what's next?